Welcome to Movie Caps. Today I will show you a drama, comedy, adventure film from 2019 titled A Dog's Journey. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Bailey finds himself happy by Ethan's side reminiscing about his past lives. After living so many lives, he is joyful to be reunited with his favorite human buddy again in this one. Filled with nostalgia they play catch and perform their signature trick. Henry, Ethan and Hannah's son, died in a car accident eight months before his daughter was born. The baby mother Gloria is living with Henry's parents. Gloria has a weird distaste for dogs. Conveniently, making her a little more unlikable to the majority of the population. Meanwhile Bailey thinks it's funny Gloria always has food on her face. Little CJ finds herself exploring and ends up in an angry horse's cage. Everything happens quickly as the toddler's life is threatened. Thankfully Bailey acts quickly to keep the horse at bay. Ethan rushes in, scared for his granddaughter's safety. He gets angry at Gloria for not looking after her and says she is lucky Bailey was there. Things start getting even more tense as little CJ starts saying Nana more than Mama. Worried about CJ getting properly cared for, they wonder how Gloria is gonna handle life. Concluding they'd be more worried if she wasn't staying with them. Bailey's belly appears to have a big lump. He enjoys the car ride to the vet and it turns out he has cancer. Hannah overhears Gloria saying some company chose a different singer for the job, emphasizing one without a toddler. After this Hannah proposes that if Gloria wants to pursue her career she offers to take care of CJ. This greatly upsets Gloria and she thinks they are calling her a bad mother. She accuses them of being after the life insurance money she got from Henry. Saying they've been criticizing what she is doing every day. Feeling unwelcome and misunderstood, her emotions overwhelm her and she storms off with CJ. Bailey notices Hannah's sadness being similar from when Henry didn't come back. Hannah despairs as the granddaughter they grew so fond of slips away in front of their eyes. After some time Bailey stops feeling hungry. Ethan reassures Hannah that Gloria will get in touch and they share a moment, dancing. Bailey joins in and feels more and more tired. Ethan finds Bailey in the shed being in a lot of pain and they share their last moment together. He talks to Bailey as if he knows he'll find them again. Asking him to come back and take care of his granddaughter. Come back for her like he came back for him. Bailey feels his pain melt away as they put him to sleep. He finds peace in his new purpose and swears to keep looking for CJ as he runs through a yellow field. Bailey gets reborn as a female dog named Molly. Rocky, his last sibling, is about to get adopted by a boy called Trent. He notices a girl accompanying him and it turns out to be CJ. Molly performs an epic escape motivated by the need to fulfill her purpose. CJ lies about her mother liking dogs to get the puppy. Molly is a little too excited about being a puppy again and wreaks havoc all over her room, even peeing on her bed. CJ has trouble hiding Molly from her mother but manages to distract Gloria by complimenting her dress. They share a moment during a storm where CJ finally feels like she isn't alone when she is scared. CJ even comes close to telling Gloria, but then she makes a remark about her being careful not to eat a whole pizza because nobody likes a fat singer. CJ calls Molly's original owner, pretending to be Gloria, to tell her how happy they are with the dog. Trent distracts her by calling over and over, making the woman's conversation with CJ as brief as possible until the woman is convinced that Gloria is okay with keeping Molly. Conveniently Gloria's new love interest is at their place the first time she sees Molly. He doesn't share her dislike of dogs and she's afraid to scold CJ in front of him. They have an argument, but CJ has grown very fond of her new best friend and is determined to keep her. She threatens to bring up in school how she's been neglected. How her mom has been leaving an 11-year-old alone and drinking every night. She reluctantly agrees that CJ may keep Molly. Few years go by and CJ is talking with Trent about their futures. Trent has Asian stereotypical parents and is pressured to go to a good college. CJ on the other hand is contemplating dropping out of high school. Dreaming of becoming a singer with her father's insurance settlement. CJ begins to date Shane because what is more attractive than a dude working at a convenience store and guessing what you're gonna buy? Molly gets a bad vibe from him from the start. One day Trent shows up and gives her a flyer for a talent show, which Shane makes fun of and she dismisses it. He drags her to a party that ends up getting busted for underage drinking and Molly gets separated from her. Luckily Trent finds Molly in the dog shelter the next day and reunites the two. She gets assigned community service at a dog training center where dogs learn to sniff cancer. After some time Molly gets jealous of other dogs getting treats and learns this trick herself. The grandparents try to pay them a visit, bringing some of Henry's belongings. Gloria turns them away as she still is distrustful. CJ recognizes that Shane is bad news. As she turns him down he gets big mads and attacks her. Molly bites him, 
To which Shane responds by saying he's going to kill the dog. As she gets home she finds her mother drunk once more. CJ tells Gloria how she had just been assaulted. Gloria responds by asking her if she's been leading him on. CJ decides to move out with the money from her dad's settlement, but it turns out Gloria had spent all the insurance money on the house, the car, designer bags, travel and wine. CJ is really upset as the money was the only thing that had made her feel like someone cared for her. This prompts CJ to pack her things and leave with the car she'd paid for. Shane shows up, tailing them and causing the car to flip over. The coward he is, Shane flees the scene without even checking if she's okay. The accident ends up killing Molly and she finds herself in the yellow field once more. Molly gets reincarnated as Big Dog and has a decent life with Joe, a gas station owner. This life is pretty comfortable, although he misses CJ. One day he sees a girl walk into the store and recognizes her as CJ. He thinks she finally came for him. Big Dog performs a paw shake trick Joe never taught him, which leaves him in surprise. She buys a lottery scratch card and ends up winning $50 and she says the dog must have brought her luck. CJ doesn't recognize it's her Molly and drives off while he is left to live out his life there. He senses that his time is coming close and feels the pain melt away, running through the same wheat field. Big Dog gets reincarnated as Max, a small Buer Yorkshire Terrier with a big personality. He bites everyone who gets close to his cage at an adoption event in New York. One day he recognizes the sound of CJ's bracelet. Nervous to get to his beloved girl, he wants to make an escape and surely, he gets a chance shortly after. He chases her up to an elevator. There's nothing that wins a girl's heart more than almost dying when she first sees you. CJ notices the adoption event's collar on Max and goes to return him. The lady at the event is surprised Max is friendly to her and says she is the first person he didn't try to bite. Max was going to be put down the next day as their facilities were overrun. She ends up taking him home. Although she has doubts as she is living with her boyfriend who already has a dog. Her boyfriend comes home from a trip and says it's fine to keep the dog, but asks her when she's finally ready to perform in front of an audience. Even though she still aspires to be a musician, she has massive stage fright. One day, while CJ is dog-sitting, Max recognizes a smell. He runs off and scratches the door of an apartment. Turns out Trent has just moved into that apartment. CJ is really surprised that her dog just dragged her there and Max senses that his previous sibling, Rocky, had died. Max notices that CJ is happy in Trent's presence and how he makes her laugh. They talk about how they should have a double date as his girlfriend is flying in next week. Sensing the pull between these two old friends Max sabotages CJ's relationship with her current boyfriend prompting her to leave. Living with various friends, she is ashamed to face Trent and ignores his messages. Although Max manages to bring them together once more. As Trent asks how her life is going she breaks down and he offers her their spare room. His girlfriend, Lisa, isn't happy with this and marks her territory by asking her about her career. Commenting how she's a professional dog sitter if she does music on the side. One day when Trent's just unwinding from his day, Max performs the cross-legged sign Molly had learned in the cancer detection program. Mystified by this CJ encourages Trent to go to a doctor because he's been coming home exhausted every night. They confirm that Trent has cancer and has to do chemo. His girlfriend says that hospitals terrify her. Trent jokingly says then definitely don't get cancer and she gets offended by CJ laughing at this. Lisa left him cold-hearted saying she doesn't want to be a nurse. Trent comments how this might be for the best. CJ gladly takes care of Trent throughout chemo. Until he one day gets a call that his scans are clear. They rejoice at the news. Trent encourages CJ to meet up with her mom to clear things out and make Gloria less scary in her mind. Max can sense some tension between them and feels they get close to licking faces. CJ ends the moment by calling Trent a really good friend and Max pulls them away. CJ decides to meet up with her mother. Gloria starts by saying she's been sober for nine months and is sorry for being a bad mother. She wants to make amends and asks to be back in her daughter's life. Handing her some old letters from Henry, which he wrote to Gloria while she was pregnant. Gloria asks how her career is going and says she'll never know if she doesn't try. This and her dad's belief in her gives her motivation to make something of herself. CJ hangs up the old letters in her room and finally decides to muster up her courage and perform. During her performance Trent becomes so excited his eyes sparkle like the ones of a child right before Christmas Eve. He is so happy for her, it's adorable. To repay CJ for taking care of him, he takes her on a road trip to her grandparents. They are happy to finally get hold of their little CJ and Ethan instantly recognizes Max as being Bailey. While they show her pictures of her happy childhood, CJ gets confused as to why Gloria kept her away from them. 
Hannah explains how Gloria probably thought the world was against her when Henry died so young. She also explains how their dog came back and brought them together. Ethan shows CJ the trick he taught him long ago. Dumbfounded by this, CJ realizes it all makes sense. Molly and also the dog at the gas station have been with her all this time. This makes her realize how Max brought her and Trent together, just like Ethan and Hannah. How it all seems so meant to be. She runs to him to confess her love and lick his face. Trent responds by admitting he has always loved her and they give Max a moment of appreciation for bringing them together. Ethan fades away from old age and Max follows shortly after. Able to be with Ethan forever as a reward for being a good boy. They live happily ever after in the land of yellow grass fields. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.